In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the order of your elements in Adobe Spark. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print on demand business. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the order slider inside of Spark. It's very similar to layers inside of Photoshop and so that's where a lot of my knowledge comes from, but the functionality is essentially the same inside of Spark with the order slider. It's a little confusing at first glance, but I'm going to show you guys how to understand it. So let's go ahead and jump into Spark. Here we are inside of Spark. We've got our artboard with a few different elements in it and then our toolbox off to the right hand side. And these elements here are here on purpose. I'm going to show you guys the order slider. If we click on this gray piece of paper, you'll see inside of the icon tab, we have an order slider and it's all the way to the left. It is the number one thing that will be closest to the background. And then if we click on this blue piece of paper, we've got it as number two, which means it is the second thing from the bottom of our artboard. And so if I move the slider for this blue piece of paper all the way to the left, then it will be the first thing on our artboard, which means it will actually be covered up by this gray piece of paper. So regardless of how I move these two pieces of paper, the gray one will always be on top. So starting with a blank artboard, I'm going to go ahead and add in a few elements so we can show off this idea a little bit more. I'm going to type in I and love is going to be represented by a heart. So this is the next word I need. I'm going to find a heart element here inside of our icons tab. This heart will be just fine. I'm going to move all of these kind of in a line together and reorder all of them at the same time by shift clicking on all three of these things. I'm just moving this a little bit. I'm going to remove the background on these very quickly. And then I'm gonna be adding in a cat. And then I want the cat tails to go over this heart shape here. And the way that I can do that is with our order slider. And then go to icon, type in cat. I know the exact one that I want, but this guy right here, if I click him once, he'll populate and we have to make him bigger. And so here's something I should note as well. If your layers are the same color, they'll look like they just blend into each other. So you definitely want to use different colors when you're gonna be using the order slider. And because I added in this cat last, it is the thing on top of all these other graphics. So it's already kind of the way that I want it. But say I did want the heart to be over the cat's tail, I can either click on the heart and move the slider all the way to the right, and that will put it on top. Or I could click on the cat and see how the cat's tail is covering up the eye. I can slide this all the way to the left and put it all the way in the back. So maybe I want to push the cat up a little bit and have the words covering the cat. That is a way I could do that. Or if I wanted to be the other way around, again, I could click on this cat, make sure I'm in the icon tab and slide our order slider all the way to the right and it would cover up everything then. Or you can pick and choose, you know, we have th four things in our, um, in our document here. So if I want it to just be over the heart, which I know is it was the third thing until I moved it, it's now the fourth thing, which means it is on top again. So I can move this heart wherever I want it could even put it directly over the cat and it would be covered up in this way. So the cat is now over our text and the heart is on top of the cat. To learn more about Spark and see some other tips and tricks that I have, or to actually see me use this tool for our print on demand business, you can click these videos over here. But until the next one, I'll see you guys around. I know I, I know, like I said in the beginning of this, sorry, um, but move on. <laughs> graphics. Mm.